Today's devotional comes from Mark chapter 2, verse 13 through 17. All right. Then he went out again by the sea, and all the multitudes came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Ephesus, sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. So he arose and followed him. Now it happened, as he was dining in Levi's house, that many tax collectors and sinners also sat together with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eating with the tax collectors and sinners, they said to his disciples, how is it that he eats and drinks with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need for a physician, but those who are sick, I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. God was showing me, like, during your journey, you will build a following of people of all types of habits, backgrounds, um, issues, like, and you will have a chance in a position to influence them. Now, what influence is, is really to bring, like, change in their lives. Like, you're able to speak, and they can receive words, they can receive your action, they can receive your knowledge, your wisdom, and then they can apply it to their lives. See, religious people, you know, the Pharisees and the scribes, they have a set of laws that they thought since, you know, how could he sit with those people, you know? Are they are they going to influence him? And Jesus was like, no, nah, man, I'm here. Like, I'm called to help people, you know, to come back, to turn from that kind of lifestyle. And, you know, that's what God has called us to do, like to have influence. And it doesn't doesn't mean that we should be like uh, even just talking about Jesus. It's talking about like we should be living in such a way that it influences other to turn from that way that is wrong, right? Like me as a believer and as a follower of Christ, I don't have to even say Jesus in the the way I act towards somebody. You know, I can be loving, I can be caring, I can be uh, just a person who is she's doing right by people. And that's going to influence them to be like, hey man, like what are you doing? You know, what are you doing to, like, have that kind of life or have that kind of peace? And also, like, practicing successful practice, you know, being recognized at my job, being recognized for what I do, being so talented that they be like, well, man, how do you do? Like, how do you get there? Or what are you doing? And then I can talk about the principles that God has taught me and my relationship with him that guides me. It's not about us, like I said, preaching. It's about us sitting like Jesus was doing. He was just sitting and eating. <laughs> he was sitting, eating, and drinking with them. He wasn't doing, he was already done preaching and teaching. So, like, that's what people don't understand. It's not about you teaching. It's not about you always preaching. It's not all about you, like, sharing the gospel, the good news. It's about you existing with them, being a friend, um, spending time, uh, and them getting to know you. And now see in your ways how you can influence them. So guys, you know, understand when religious people or people are judging you for the people you are hanging around, you know, make sure you understand, especially your area of gifting and your talent that you are having influence over the people around you. And don't worry about what they're saying because that's what God has called you to do. He's called you to be in this world, but not of it. And he's called you to have power of influence over these people. Okay, so that's all I got for you today, guys. Remember, remember, all right, you have that power, you have that influence, and it's all because of him. All right, well, y'all stay blessed and meditate on this.